Hello, how are you? Hey everyone. So you guys can actually see how small I am in my chair now. Well, I'm slouched down. Yeah. So Go on, sit that up. is me, sitting normally. Wait, let me sit properly up. You are. Yeah, I was. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, there's a slight height difference, so I'm gonna yeah. slouch down. I've got a bad back as well, but I'm gonna just slouch down. The it? struggle is real, the struggle is real. Can't wait for the single. Thank you very much. Very excited. See, I'm, I'm very new to this streaming world, yeah. I was just saying. You have to be nice. This is my first ever time on Twitch, mm -hmm. ever. Like, even as a viewer, or, well, I'm going straight into the streaming mode Yeah, now. this is, like, you've been thrown in the deep end. <laughs> Nathan's dad used to watch my stream. This was what Liam. I was saying earlier. My dad's probably watching now. My dad just loves Twitch. <laughs> Um, That's actually so iconic. I don't know. He just plays Call of Duty and well, I don't even know the, the names of the game he plays, but he builds houses. Oh, Rust. 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 He's a big Rust fan. Nice. Oh, Rust is like, he's a proper gamer. He's a proper gamer. Yeah, I kind of love that. Petition for Nathan to start a Twitch channel. Do you know what? I love FIFA. Where are you going? So I would love to start playing FIFA with people online. Like, and stream it. Yeah, if you guys want to see a FIFA stream. We should do that one day. Little clubs moment. You any good? No. I mean, do you know what? I will say, chat, can you back me here? Because, no, I'm not good. Okay. But I played it, I think, once or twice. And I I was, I was okay. Oh! No, I fell! Oh, no, no, I didn't shoot! I was doing what I needed to do for the first time playing. I feel like the worst players are sometimes the best because they're unpredictable. Yeah, true. Someone's saying, is Gerard sack soon? I feel like people think I know everything that happens at Aston Villa. I don't. Oh yeah, of course you're a but like, Villa fan. You know, the Gerard situation, we could be here all day. But, <laughs> you know, we do I've need to start getting some wins. I what that means. He's our manager. You must have heard of Steven Gerrard. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know who he managed. He's now the manager of Aston Villa. Oh, I did not but know. But at the minute... Gerrard. Yeah, at the minute, we're not we're not winning. Yeah, So the fans no. are a bit unhappy. Is that, that different for Aston Villa? Sorry. Let's, uh, let's crack on. <laughs> Simon's second girlfriend have a song with Nathan. Nice. Yep. Me and JJ. <laughs> <laughs> leak me the banger. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to say we should leak a song. We might get, will we get taken off? Like, you know, like yeah. when TikTok's just like... No, not TikTok. Sorry. Twitch. <laughs> you have to say TikTok. It's okay. <laughs> um, Twitch, like... Has it got copyright stuff in that? Um, yeah. Oh, we find out the hard way. It won't take me off, though. If they did, imagine. I'd be like, excuse me. Should we play a tiny little clip? Oh, go on. <laughs> I'm trying to think what part have people heard. I don't think so. We've just done like they've heard a bit of the second verse. Have they though? Yeah, you played. You posted it. First time you learned. When did I? Did I? Yeah. Oh yeah, I did. I did. I did, I did. The first verse. I don't think you guys heard any of. Should we do the breakdown section? Yeah. Bear with me. Bear with. Also, guys, don't forget exclamation mark sweet lies. We are going to be replying to some of you on Instagram in a bit, so make sure to pre-order it on iTunes, screenshot it and get it ready and send it in on Instagram because we're going to be going through DMs. <gasps> I found it. Mm -hmm. um, what part from then? Because the breakdown session comes in about a minute in. Are you sick of the song yet? Hearing it over and over again. I don't, I've heard it that many times that I still love it more and more each time. Yeah, I'm I'm all right right now. I'm, I'm still like, yes, banger. I'm just walking around the house constantly singing. La, yeah, la, 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 la. I know. It's, it's constantly in my head. So love that for you guys. <laughs> I'm definitely not a Derby fan, by the way, people that are saying that. Oh, is that, is live, that like I a... I live near Derby, but I'm an Aston Villa fan. But people just think that I live in Derby and support oh, Derby. Oh, so it's like... I definitely don't support Derby County. Does your dad support Villa? Yeah, my whole family support Villa. They're, we're all from Birmingham. But right. Then we moved out just before I was born. So hence why I still support Villa. Mm. But I live. I was going to say, you don't really have a Birmingham accent. You have more when of I go a home, Derby. it comes out. Oh, really? When I go and see mum and dad, it comes out. And then all my mates take the Do you say out your G's on the end of like thing? I feel like that's a really Birmingham thing to do. Or like, Is it? yeah. What, no? What you, don't, what you do or don't say? You, you do, do say them. Things. As it, yes, you do slightly. As it, so I say things, there's no... You leave the G? Yeah, it's silent. Um, Whereas like, I feel like when you're from Birmingham, you go like things. There's like a, a slight... I, I can't do it very well. I, I say that with think. Well, yeah, there's a K on that one. No, but I, I, I emphasise on the think. Oh, instead of I mean? like think. Yeah, yeah, right, think. I've not heard the thing about the Gs though. Yeah. It made me conscious now. I know, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though, am I going out? Am I going crazy, chat? I swear. 
Have you ever had this many people talking about football in your chat before? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just all Villa was wrong. It happens. It happens when there's like a game on and it's like a score that no one's expecting. Like that Man U game where they got absolutely slaughtered. My chat was just not non-stop talking about it. Oh, no. It was bad. It was quite funny though. Shall we start DMing some people? Yeah, chat. You know what I said? Get your screenshots ready. Pre-order on iTunes and then send a screenshot into Instagram. Carly Myers, my Instagram, if you didn't know. And bam, we shall read them out and reply to some. Be nice. I think I think people don't understand how much iTunes helps artists. Oh my God. Like, I think they don't see anything, oh, you're boring us. But no, yeah. genuinely, like, it makes so, I mean, it helps everyone yeah. so much. And like, with this song coming out um, around the winter and Christmas time, like, <laughs> We need as much support as we can to get it booming, so. Honestly, it makes such a difference. iTunes, yeah, iTunes buyers are insane. We bore everyone with the, with the geeky side of it, but it is, it is so true. Hell yeah. Who's that Drew? Big Drew, up Drew. Big up Drew Wilson. Oh, they're coming through. Kyla, had to do it, babe. Let's go. Mm. Every time uh, big up down. Nat as well. Yeah. Let's go. At Talia Marfan 92. Nice. I need some at Nathan Dorr fan 94. <laughs> Question is, were you born in 92? Or me? No, the oh, 92. I was say, I was thinking, yeah, I'd well, imagine so, wouldn't you? You what? You'd imagine she is. I think so, but she might just like the number 92. I don't know. Probably not. That's it. <laughs> Probably not. I was not expecting Nathan to be here. Well, here you go. I'm in the iconic setting, the ring where it all happens. I know. It's a lot. I feel like it's annoying because the illusion's been ruined for you because there's mess. Up here, you know around what? there. Talia kept saying, oh, it's such a state. It's not. It's just like a normal gaming room. There's just a few unopen unopened boxes on the floor and stuff. Yeah, it's a bit, though. And random guitars and stuff just knocking around. Yeah, there are. It's definitely not messy. You should have seen my bedroom in 2018. I mean, no, my bedroom as a child was atrocious. I'm messy. I'm really messy, naturally. So, like, it takes a long, a long old time. A long old time. All right. I'm going to start sharing some of your stories on my story. So, if you want to post it on your story and tag, I will post some of them as well. Yeah, we'll repost everyone now. Has anyone got any ideas as well mm. for the music video? So, we're currently trying to work out the theme of the music video and genuinely feel like we need a bit of input from you guys. Yeah, I'm not You can do that. like the basic thing where you play out the storyline, mm. but we're cooler than that. We so, are. we do need some ideas of any type of locations or ideas i reckon full out dance routine you at the front i'll watch and judge it <laughs> but we can even get a few people down to the video shoot that would be cool whoever gets the best concept true people are saying candy store we can go to one of them american candy stores where they're just uh, like fraudulent businesses yeah i was gonna say <laughs> those are no like money launderers if ever i've seen them and it's not even long now when's it out next friday a week, week on and a friday half. are you nervous i am a bit I'm a little bit nervous. Do you know what? I was Everyone doing all right. I've played it to has loved it. Yeah. I've been playing it at a few of my gigs recently and mm -hmm. it's been going off. It's a banger. And I'm just so excited. I want people to just, when it comes out, I always get in the mindset of when it comes out, the first time listener, what are they going to think? Yeah. And I think you guys are going to love it. I mean, you've already pretty much heard the whole song now <laughs> from, from all the yeah, snippets true. we're doing. So you already know that you love it. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't realize it was out that soon. Yeah, literally. 28. I felt like I had said something that I wasn't allowed to there. I panicked. I always panic. That's the thing with live streaming. Well, you thought the timing wasn't there yet. I was like, yeah, I'm... Because obviously once you've said it, it's out there. There's no getting it back. Mm -hmm. I always panic that I'm going to leak stuff because I leak stuff all the time. What's the worst thing you've said on a live that you've thought, I wish I never said that? Do you know what? I'm pretty good. Okay. But I will say a friend of mine... So people sometimes have uh, cams on their keyboard when they play so you can see what they're doing. She typed in her password while her cam was on. Did you get hacked then? That was G. Um, no, she, luckily at the time she didn't have like crazy amounts of viewers. Yeah, yeah. I think she only had like a couple hundred. So and she quickly changed her password. Yeah, straight away. But yeah, she's you done that. You got so crafty. Oh yeah. Oh she. Uh, G's the worst for leaking stuff. She's said people's addresses before. She's talked about events that are happening that haven't been announced. She's. So you can't tell G secrets. <laughs> she's is... so bad. But you know what? It's so funny. It's so funny. She's great. What was your like game gamer tag growing up? Did you have one? Yeah, I did have one. Was it bad? Um, no. Okay. I had a couple. Oh, God, there's one that I can't remember, but you're going to love. But at the minute, my dad is called Slayer. That's his one. Oh, And Slayer. then mine was just, it's always been like Nathan Dorr in recent times. Yeah. But then. Yeah, makes sense. In the last few years, people just kept shouting, is that KSI's mate? 
down the mic. Nice. So I thought I have to change change my name on there yeah. now. And I'm now Slayer Junior. Oh, nice. So I've got mean, Slayer and Slayer Junior. I get KSI's girlfriend's girlfriend. Yeah. So Just shouting it down the street. Yeah. Just like further and further yeah, along yeah, the yeah. line. Just the chain just keeps going. Yeah. If you're any way related to Jake. Yes, I'm born in 92. I'm 30. Love that nah, for you, Queen. What's it feel like being 30 now? Because I'm 28 and I'm starting to get a little bit scared. Oh, it's happening. Of hitting the, uh, hitting the 30 mark. I'm quite excited to be 30. I mean, I'm, I've got I've got another four years. But I just feel like when you're 30, like you just, I'm 30. Does that make sense? It doesn't. It kind of makes sense. I just think you but sound Did you say cooler. you feel like you've got another 40 years? No, I've got another four. Oh. I'm about to turn 26. Yeah. So I've still got... Before you meant I'm nearly 30, I've got another 40 years thinking you're going to die when you're like 70. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Absolutely not. I plan on... I want to hit 100. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to happen, but that's the aim. The goal. I just think it'd be cool to be like, I'm 100. Like, wow. Yeah, obviously. I think that's everyone's goal. I, I, was, I was thinking the other day, I was just driving. This sounds really morbid, but I was just driving thinking, <laughs> I want to just live forever. <laughs> I was really? Like, I don't want to. I don't want to die. No, I know. I always freak out about that. But do you then just think about also, that. So I do, and then I start freaking out. Sometimes I just think I don't like. It's not, I don't want to die. I just. What if I just don't want to? I don't have an option. Where's that? Where's my get out of jail free card here? Bit That's long. the thing. That's what we were saying earlier in the taxi. We were saying we are all going to go one day. Mm. So just chase your dreams. Yeah, just live your best go life. Do what you got to do. As long as you're not like hurting anyone. Maybe don't do that. Living forever is terrifying. I suppose it is if you were there just forever and you just wouldn't, yeah, I wouldn't, you just wouldn't drop. I wouldn't want to do that, but I'd, I definitely, I would like to put in a request right now. I'd like to die in my sleep when I'm like 107 or something. Please, that would be That'd nice. That would be the best way, wouldn't it, really? Just putting in that request early. Do you think there's a um, random thing, but there's actually life out there on other planets? 100%. Definitely. Like, as in like, people 100%. sat there doing this now? No, not in the same way. So there's not humans? Um, nah. I think the way that our environment is like made and stuff, it it would be crazy for the same exact way. Like even if you look at people that are isolated in like other countries where they don't have access to this stuff, they've completely they've gone in a completely different direction to humans with with this interaction. Yeah. So if you think about that on a whole other planet, but don't you think it's just a bit? I definitely think there's probably something smarter than us. I'm gonna say it's a bit of a stretch to think we're the only thing like no yeah type of thing no definitely there's no way in infinite space and time that's yeah, ever yeah. expanding there's no way there's not something that's smarter than us look at us we're destroying the planet I there's going to be someone out there that's doing it better <laughs> then, going into those things i start thinking so why we i know why? and do they know about us do, yeah are they, are they here now? yeah very true we might not be able to you know you because your they eyes can only see to, certain things yeah it? it's like can they time travel Oh, have, have they done all this already? It's getting too close to Halloween. Stop talking oh, about things like this. I could honestly talk about this stuff forever because stuff that confuses me or like my brain just can't quite wrap my head around. You could talk about it forever. I could just spew. Would constantly. you say you're a conspiracy theorist? Ah, uh, no, uh, no, no. Like most most conspiracy theories, I'm like oh, this is a bit stupid. But stuff that's like where we genuinely don't know. Yeah. Love a conspiracy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when it's something like like a tragic event or an actual event that we've seen with our own eyes mm. or things like the earth being flat i'm like leave it out go home on that oh god no, but how do you like you you can't say well, i'm not one of them for yeah, that, yeah, but yeah yeah we know we don't know yeah but there's things like the fact that a boat appears in the horizon and like if you stand on flat ground and shine a light if you go far enough the light is not in the same place because it's, maybe it's just because our eyes can't see it no, no, but as in like, so they did it. There was a flat earth, flat earther that bought, they spent 20 grand or 60 grand. They spent tens of thousands on this piece of equipment that basically shines a light straight. Mm. And on flat ground, or on, on, a, on a flat earth, the light would be in the same place at the other point. But because our earth is round, the light was at a different distance. Yeah, yeah. And it proved his theory wrong. And he was literally stood there like, <laughs> He, well, he was just like, well, this is obviously faulty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I, come I, I on, man. A as well. You've come up with this experiment or you've agreed that this ex experiment makes sense. You've spent the money to do it yourself and it still didn't work. <laughs> Give it a rest, Some people man. just can't admit when they're wrong. Give it a rest. Maybe it was a sweet lie. Yeah. True that, true that. What is the, what is the store? I mean, I've never had an Android. Is it Google Play on an, on an Android? What's their store? Maybe. Or Amazon Music? Amazon Music. Basically, if you can buy the song over downloading it do you know what i mean it helps i think we just agree that this song deserves to live in the top 10 <laughs> <laughs> and we need to get it there so we need all the support and help possible 
We do, we do. Be a Derby fan or have an Android. <laughs> <laughs> It's that Sophie's choice. Do you know what? <laughs> I'd, I'd probably have to say be a Derby fan. Oh I, my god! Android phones, like I just can't. Yeah. It takes me longer to do anything on them. But I always, whenever you see iPhones come out, you always get them Android users that are like we had that feature. We've done for that years. for years, and it's like all right, but we, we get it. We but ours really looks care. better. Yeah, ours looks better. Feels better. <laughs> Alex has pre-saved it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I mean, pre-ordered. Sorry, not pre-saved. Let's go, legend. Sorry for look. I feel everyone's having a having a go at me now for disrespecting androids. But like, I mean, just try an iPhone, please, and you won't look back. <laughs> I used to have. Um, it's their user. It's their user friendly. Like iPhones are very, very. Their interface is and so clean. AirDrop. Oh my god, AirDrop changes the game. Yeah, it really does. But I can't believe I got you to say you'd be a Derby fan. Wow, it happened. Yeah, don't clip that. Or yeah. You do. We, should, um, we should tell them about. What we were filming today. Oh yeah, we filmed a video, guys. So funny. It was, it was, there's some exposing going on, I can't lie. We did a say it or shot it. And it was, the questions that were asked were a little bit wild. Um, I pushed the boat out. Yeah. I got I got the tea for you guys. You did, you did. <laughs> there was a lot there, of shot in there as well. There's a couple of things I definitely shouldn't have answered, but I did, but it's fine. There's a couple of things Talia yes, said we've got to cut out, which I'm going to really try hard not to cut out. <laughs> I'm like, that needs bleeping, that needs bleeping. <laughs> but yeah, it, it was well. But that will be out in a few weeks. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed and all that, all the good stuff. I don't have an exact date when that's coming out, but it will be in a couple of weeks because the song comes out next week. Next week. Next Friday. That's wild. When you have a release out, do you stay up till like midnight? Yeah. I can't sleep. And then for the next two, three hours, I'm just constantly refreshing the iTunes I choose Charles. <laughs> Everything. It says, imagine there's a song with Talia, JJ, Nathan, and Simon. What would Na what was Simon doing? Oh my doing God. He he raps a little bit. Well, like he has like, have you not heard, have you heard any of his music? He'd... I think I've heard, was there like a charity single once when they were all in the studio? Yes, the Christmas one. And I think Simon was actually quite good at that. He's decent, you know. He's good at, he's he's very like, he's good at puns. So he's quite good at thinking of like yeah, clever yeah, yeah, yeah. lyrics. Punchlines. Yeah. Uh, so he does, Maybe they do like comedy songs. Oh my God, no. <laughs> Did you really get sat by your label? I didn't get sat by the label. Yeah. Um, it probably went a bit more viral than I thought it would. <laughs> I actually, I was out having drinks the same night that I posted that stunt and I didn't tell my family. And my mum rang me and she was in tears and I felt so bad. And um, I thought that was probably gone a bit too far now. I've got mm. Mumsy on the phone crying her eyes out. My family texting me going like, no, like we're all here for you. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> but the mad thing is, it just shows how much people love controversy. Oh yeah. Because we had I, the most views I've ever had on TikTok and it was incredible. Little sweet lie. Just over my downfall. <laughs> so, like, I know, people were loving it. I know, it's like, yeah. yes, get him Finally. out. I know, unreal, unreal. There's mainly Derby fans and Birmingham City fans just oh, on Twitter. Oh really? Like, just like, having the best time. Yeah. And then when you came out, it's like, sorry guys, yeah. it was a lie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still chilling. When I walked around the label though, when I went back to the label the weekend after I felt, I felt like everyone was staring at me in the label thinking, there he is. Oh God. <laughs> I caused him a few headaches. Oh my God. Even my dad asked, he was like, oh my God. Is, is the song happening now? He was like, what, what happens now? He was like, the label at the side going like, no. He was like, oh, it's so bad. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> and why. I had people messaging me from like school days, I've not spoken to in 12 years, just saying like, obviously I've seen your success recently, I'm so proud of you, I know we don't talk anymore, but just this won't define you. Like, oh I was my like, this, god, I was no. like, oh my god, this is so awkward because I've not spoken to you in 12 oh, years. Oh, and now I have to be like, it's a joke, it's a joke, it's, it's it the a song's joke. about lying. It, that was it, I thought, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I thought people would actually get it straight away, it's called Sweet Some Lies. people did, yeah, but some people and, like, didn't. If I was to get dropped from a label, I wouldn't post it on Instagram. Yeah. And also, yeah. when you see the video of Philly running out on stage and I'm the one clicking play. I know, I know. a lot of people Surely. like, wait a minute, he's clicking play. I, I was know, like, yes, you've right. got it. This is the whole point. Nathan, and then I get in trouble. A Twitch tunnel. You know what? I think because of this campaign, the time's right. I probably will actually look into it, it after this. It's fun. But I'm looking around now entirely as set up and I'm seeing Computers that look like they can fire a rocket. <laughs> All these lights and cameras, and they're like, they're yeah. pretty expensive to me. There's to a sell it lot. Off. Although, to be fair, this is like, I had my three year anniversary yesterday. So, this is three years in. Okay. And this is three years on Twitch. I was, I was on YouTube before. So, I've been streaming for like four years now. What's mad though is when I went around JJ's house, mm. he just had 
Oh, he said so. It was like jank. a jank. It's not tiny anymore, little camera. Yeah. On top of his laptop screen, yeah. like, and it was on like balancing on a book. And I walked in, I think, he's a multi-millionaire. Yeah, I know. <laughs> he's had his whole setup redone now, but it was jank. It was so sketch. It's unreal. But it's like it his works. his setup is sick now. But to be fair, all you need is like a webcam. The thing to spend money on is your mic. Okay. People don't really care if you're if you look a bit crappy as long as you sound yeah, good. If you like... sound crap, it's annoying. Yeah, yeah. It's... Overwatch is that what you were talking about? Overwatch, yeah. I'm addicted to it. I'm actually addicted. To it. When it comes to fighting stuff, I, I mean, I play a bit of COD. Mm. I liked the old Warzone, and then the new one, I'm just like, nah. The new one's a bit dead. And I played one game of FIFA 23, and I, I, that was really hard as well. <laughs> and I haven't actually got it yet. I'm not really a. I'm not a FIFA gal. I mean, I grew up liking football, but like, I don't really watch it. It's ironic because I'm an Arsenal supporter. So you'd think now more than ever, I really should be. Really uh, should be on it, yeah. But I've got the prime effect. I know. Yeah, they do. They really do. But yeah, I'm just not, I'm not on it anymore. My, who's my dream collab? Like if you could collab with Obviously anyone, outside of Nathan Dorr. Obviously. Um, I don't know. It's gotta be like Beyonce or someone, isn't it? I was gonna say, like singer wise, I'd love to do something with Beyonce, Ariana Grande, Taylor Swift, mm. Obs. We were literally at the label earlier. Me, Alex, and Megan were talking about Taylor Swift oh, non-stop. Really <laughs> he was like, what is going on? <laughs> um, but the, like producer-wise, someone like Tim, I love Timberland. Yeah. That old school. That'd be incredible. So sick. He's just so yeah. much now as well that you wouldn't even like know of. Yeah. He's it's just, incredible. he's a cool guy. But yeah, I mean, Beyonce, who would turn, genuinely, is there someone that would turn that down? There must be, but that's wild. Well, I would say, He's like, I would. No, absolutely not. <laughs> you know, like, Adele. Yeah. Has she never done a feature, I think. Oh, yeah. I don't think she's ever done a feature. Can someone fact check that? But I don't think she's ever done a feature. So I'd be intrigued to see, because I don't think she's short of offers. That is so interesting. Let me Google She's this. got such a specific style that's not doesn't really lend itself to a feature. Do you ever just put like sad songs on and just Cry. be depressed for like an hour? So, okay, this is a question. I don't know if I've asked you this. I ask everyone this, so I probably have. When you're sad, do you listen to sad music or happy music? Like, do you want to just wallow or are you like, nah, turn my mood around? Okay, if I'm like really sad, yeah, I've gone through a situation or something that is actually really cutting me off. Mm. If I hear a relatable lyric, it will probably make me sadder. Yeah. So I'm like, no, I'm not listening to that. Yeah. Blanket, when you're in that like, period where it yeah. really hurts but then you know after like a few weeks when you're starting to come to terms with it yeah like i will then you listen to the sad stuff then i'll listen to the sad stuff and then oh. actually like it's kind of like therapy do you know i love mm. writing sad music oh, i'll have okay. to send you some i've literally got five or six really ballads that will make you cry your eyes out <gasps> i but love writing i just sad don't think music. i'll get away with releasing it because it just yeah won't really work little for like kick drum under it <laughs> well yeah but it ruins it then yeah it does like, i want it to just be you want to have it sad. have its moment yeah i i love writing a ballad is my favorite thing to write 100 yeah but when i'm sad no no chance there's no way i'm putting on sad music well, you put on happy music sweet lives yeah, I would put on something like that yeah, and just I mean, be yeah. like, no, nah. I, I, if I want to cry, I can't, I, I still wouldn't want to listen to something that's sad while I'm sad because it would just send me into like a hole of yeah. like no return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so when do you listen to sad songs? I listen to sad songs when I want to like listen to something, when I want to just listen to something that's like really moving and I'm like, do you know what? I'm in the mood to just like appreciate some music. That's when I listen to sad music. I don't really listen to sad music that much, which is ironic. If I'm sad chat, I write a sad song. <laughs> I don't listen it to is, a sad it song. It's like therapy though, isn't it? Yeah. When you write, it's like you just, that's when the, the sad songs get written is when the artists are sad. We don't listen to sad music. <laughs> we write it. <laughs> yeah, I know. I um, um, We wrote one for uh, Anne-Marie as well. It's on the album, Better oh. Not Together. Oh, banger. And um, yeah, that was like therapy for me in yeah. that session. I love stuff like that. Sad songs are just the most fun to write, which is really ironic. That Cycling GK, have you seen that? That podcast. I would love mm -hmm. to go on the Cycling GK podcast. Oh, what is it? It's basically a podcast that Ben Foster does. Oh. And um, I mean, I um, love football. I was a goalkeeper. He likes music. It makes sense. I mean, I do, I do like podcasts. I've, I've done a few podcasts, but I love podcasts. They are quite. They are quite cool. I. This is why I like streaming though. I can talk for England. Just talk and talk and talk. I can talk and talk about absolutely nothing. 
I don't need a topic. I will just talk. Well, I can't believe we're just chatting about nonsense and we, the viewers have not dropped. <laughs> They're just like listening to us talk absolute nonsense. It's basically like a live podcast. Yeah. But I do, yeah, I just like, I love going on podcasts because if, it's probably just me being really self-centered. I'm like, yes, ask me questions. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about me. <laughs> yes, great. <laughs> I'm a pro waffler, it's true. Yeah, it Simon's true. podcast. I want to get on that. I need to catch him on the way out and say, yeah, yeah, so. yeah there you go. Is that what he does with um, Randolph? Yeah. yeah. Because he's from Nottingham. Yeah. So that's around the corner from me. Yeah. That podcast is fun. Because like some podcasts are really structured, whereas theirs is very much just like just have a chat and like talk. Is that filmed here? No. No, no, no. Studio. Is Talia coming to Free Radio Live in Birmingham on the twelfth of November? Free radio? Oh it's live. Yes. Uh I don't know. Sorry, wait, what? <laughs> I think you're busy, aren't you? I'm busy. Yeah. <laughs> the Queen of Leaking returns. <laughs> Changing the subject. Anyway, Hello to Teddy Johnson. Anyway, I... <laughs> Teddy Johnson and Liv. Olivia Crane, thank you so much for pre-ordering. Yeah, don't forget, guys. Pre-order pre -order on iTunes helps so, so much. Yay. What's the one thing people say to you all the time when they see me in person? Obviously, mine's just like, oh my god, you're so tall. But like, um, what would yours be? Oh my god, you're so small. No, people normally say you're way taller than I expected. Oh, really? Yeah, I think because in pictures and stuff, especially because Simon's tall, you look quite diddy. I look tiny, and like, especially like my frame and like what I wear, a lot of like shorter girls wear that those sort of yeah, clothes. Yeah, so yeah, it yeah. makes me look shorter. Yeah. And they meet me and they're like, oh, yeah, you're I'd actually not that little. You're pretty average height for a girl. Would you say? Or above average? I'm taller, yeah. What's the average height for a girl? Five, five foot four, apparently. Well, five, apparently five foot three in the UK. I was like, there's what? no way. But yeah. To be fair, I am, out of every girl I know, I think I can name like one or two that's taller than me. Really? Yeah. Well, I can't have that. Five, five three. three, five, three. Average height for a girl is five, seven, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lexi's tall. Well, you're taller than Messi. Surely not. Freya's the same height as me. We're literally like... Leo, by the millimeter. Leo Messi height, 1.69 meters. What are you? 1.68. So he's one centimeter You're one taller. Than me. Oh my Smaller. god! I didn't realize he was small. Oh, he's diddy. Ronaldo's 1.9. Nice. Someone said, "What's my honest opinion on Villa this season?" Um, I don't want it to be clipped. What I say because. It will be. Mm, but I love Villa, and we. <laughs> You know, I love them. Passionate fan, we know that. You know, I don't always voice my opinions all the time because mm. I try and not be um, down. I try to be upbeat when I can when the, when things aren't going right. But at the minute, it's not going well. Mm -hmm. And um, you yeah. know, I don't know how long we can last before changes need to happen. But Ooh, it's um, controversial. You know, it's not really since. I mean, this is probably boring you completely. No, no, I love a little bit of drama since. Gerrards came in, I don't feel like we're any further forward than we were under Dean Smith. And that was the plan all along to progress to the next level. Um, and we ha unfortunately haven't took that step yet. But we've had a lot of injuries. We've had problems. We've been unlucky in a few games, but we do need to um, to start getting some points on the board. So fingers crossed that happens starting Thursday, I think. Damn. Stay tuned to find out. Will you get sacked? <laughs> it's just funny because everyone, like, anywhere I go, people will say like, has Gerard been sacked or has this player been mm. signed or is so-and-so signed a new contract? And I think they think I'm literally in the changing room like it's every like, day. It's like, oh, let me just ask. <laughs> like, like, are you still there? Yeah, uh, he says he's still there. <laughs> oh, I don't know. People love that though. People like don't, they don't put two and two together. If if you're like in the public eye in some sort of way, they're like, you must know everyone yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, not so much. Not so much. All right, guys, we're going to do a last little push if you want to. Uh, download on, well, pre-download on iTunes. Um, pre-order. What am I talking about? Pre-download. Pre-order. Pre-order <laughs> pre on iTunes. Wow, English is hard. Exclamation mark, sweet life. See, Emma knows. Um, and send us some screenshots. We'll do the last little, last little readouts. Oh, Danielle, let's go. Keep it going. Yeah, if I keep catching the messages, I'll keep replying all night. I'm like, when I remember. Right, chat. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back on starting soon. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna play some Overwatch because I'm addicted. <laughs> um, yeah. Don't forget, guys. Bye.
now pre-order i keep saying pre-download i'm pre-download. so That's stupid a new way to do pre-order it. on <laughs> itunes if you're a real one yeah thank you so much guys obviously just keep sending us mm-hmm. the pre-order itunes screenshots we'll get back to loads of you we've got loads of things to give away yeah um and do you know what coming. on my way home now i'm just going to send a few voice notes with leaking the track a little bit but you can't leak it yourself Damn. i'll send it to you and just keep it to yourself <laughs> for you and for you only <laughs> all right bye guys see you in a bit i'll see you in a bit